More than 10,000 people have marched through Melbourne CBD, rallying in a peaceful show of solidarity for the Black Lives Matter movement. But today, we're going to make sure that that won't be an alien thought to our young ones. We need you. So, so then march with us. March beside us. You, you get your people. Y'all march beside us. March beside us. March beside us. Let the revolution be televised. March beside us and show us that you're here for us. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today's video is kind of a bit of a controversial topic, but I did want to touch on it because I do think it is an important issue. As young people of the upcoming generation, we should stay informed and be able to use our voices and talk about issues like the one that is at hand. Because my thoughts might be a little bit jumbled, but I did feel compelled to talk about it just because as someone who works in the healthcare field and talking about life and racism and the things that I've experienced in comparison to people who literally get their lives taken away just based on the color of their skin, I did feel compelled to talk about it. Okay, first off, I just wanted to put a disclaimer out there that I, as an Asian American, will never completely understand what it is to feel like a black or an African American person in America at this time or at any time for that matter. And although I've experienced stereotypes and discrimination based on the, the color of my own skin, I'll never understand what it's like to fear for my life and to feel that I may be killed for the color of my skin. So, although I do stand with the black community during this time, I will never completely understand and there are many tools to educate you, which I'll talk about a little bit later on. But I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there that although I will be talking about the importance of Black Lives Matter, I myself have never been able to fully grasp it because I myself am not a black person in America. And to be completely honest with you, um, what really drove me to make this video was what was going on around me, I saw a lot of people post almost like opposing to Black Lives Matter, which kind of like blew my mind because for me at least, as someone who works in the healthcare field who strives to just to sustain life and to help other people, it was just mind blowing to me to see that people would even begin to regard. It was just like mind blowing to me for me to see that people would even begin to think to belittle. Black Lives Matter. I do not stand for violence and looting. Um, that's just not something that I personally stand for, but I will not tell someone who is a black, an African American person in this country how to protest. It's really hard to talk about because for me, I don't think violence is right. And that is my morals behind it. I didn't think that it was right for that police officer to unrightfully kill George Floyd. And maybe he may not necessarily be the model citizen that everyone thinks. And maybe I, I obviously don't idolize this man. But I do think that I didn't think it was right at all to kill someone just based on what the criteria they were stating saying that he was um like had a counterfeit product so my point being i don't stand for the violence and the looting but i will not tell people how to protest another thing i wanted to talk about is at first this movement made me really uncomfortable because i would constantly see it online and i would see opposition to it from people that i personally know and i work with and it was just really troubling to me to see that people just because it wasn't happening to them that they weren't willing to speak on it or say something about it or that they didn't care um i can verbatim tell you that i had heard someone who his profession is to save lives personally say it's just some black guy who died who cares verbatim that's what i heard someone say and i think that's what really drove me to make this video because of the fact that it's not just one life it's so many other lives that who 
who will be affected by this systematic error that we have in America. And if we continue to do this, how many more lives will be lost? The error of systematic racism in general. A lot of videos online that I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and link down a lot of them below because I think it's important to educate yourself on it because I personally didn't understand it at all. I feel like as an Asian American, my family doesn't really talk about these things and it's hard for them to understand because if it's not really affecting them, they're just like constantly telling you to be quiet and just sweep it under the rug. But I think it's so important to talk about it because as future generations, we should be using our voices and we should be defending people who are defenseless. Another thing I wanted to talk about was the protest that I had went to. So I did attend a protest in my area. Um, I will say in different areas, it's going to be different for everyone. But in my specific area, I was always very nervous because I've never attended a protest before and I wanted to talk about it for those of you who might want to attend your first protest. I got really nervous because I was scared of everything that was shown on the media and how it became a violent protest and how people were tear gassed and shot out with rubber bullets. But um, in my area, at least personally, this is what my experience was. People were very supportive, people were honking in um, celebration of what we were doing. Um, people were driving by chanting and I thought it was a very successful and peaceful protest and, and as people we do have the right to protest and use our voices as part of the Second Amendment. Um, as for those people who were counter protesting in different areas, they are also obviously compelled and able to use their voices as well. As for my experience being in a protest, there was a lot of walking. Um, I actually looked at my watch and we walked like four miles which is actually a lot people were very supportive it was a very diverse community um we did maintain social distancing at least in the protests that i was in um we were not as crowded and we were on walkways so it would be like two people at a time and then people were pretty spaced out um and bring lots of water there's a lot of chanting there's a lot of walking um, stay hydrated. You never know how hot it might be or how cold it might be. Um, so dress appropriately. Don't wear any um, identifying things like... I didn't wear any brands or any um, identifying markers on me. Um, and I brought a bunch of first aid items because on the media it shows them being tear gassed and being shot at. So. As like a healthcare person, that was just like my instinct to bring a lot of um, things that could possibly help people. But luckily, our protest was fairly peaceful, so I'm grateful for that. Um, yeah, definitely be prepared for the worst, but luckily our protest was very peaceful. It was very informative. Um, it was a good sense of community, and after seeing how many people and hearing people in real life talk in opposition of the Black Lives Matter, it was really refreshing to see that that many people actually did support it. So I'm glad that I went to that protest. And if you yourself have a protest near your city, I definitely recommend it if these circumstances are safe. Okay, I'm just gonna complete the rest of this on my phone because my camera keeps dying on me. The last thing I wanted to talk about is what can we do as a community to further propel this movement um, for one, educate yourself because I will admit that I'm not the most educated, educated person on this topic, which is why I continue to try and educate myself. I'm going to post different podcasts, different shows you can watch. Um, the one I'm watching right now is the 13th and it talks about kind of racism that stems way back into our American history. And it was really interesting because they talk about, um, how the 13th Amendment 13th Amendment was essentially exploited. You don't understand what I'm saying. I recommend that you watch that because I feel like it explains it way, way better than I actually did. Support your local black businesses in addition to your obvious small businesses who are struggling this, during this time. <sighs> to see it in real life that people would oppose this movement was what my driving force was because it made it so real to me that people didn't care that there was racism going on and did turn a blind eye because of the fact that it wasn't personally affecting them. 
and they seem to almost negate that person's life by saying that or at least that's why what I translated it into so I really don't know how to end this video other than to go ahead and try to use the resources we have um, and donate if you can. I'm going to post a lot of different resources and things that you can educate yourself on. And if you have anything to say in addition to what I've said that could possibly educate people, leave it down in the comment down below. Try to keep the comments section as positive as possible and check in on people. I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. Maybe this is kind of jumbled and didn't make a lot of sense, but I did want to speak on it because it, it's a very important topic during this time. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this was somewhat helpful to someone in some way or maybe even inspired someone to speak up about it. So yeah, anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next vlog.